never talk about what happened here tonight. Who is he? He's come back to make us pay for what we did to him. What else can go wrong? James. Mm -hmm. no. no. It's like you want us to die. Everyone needs a place to recharge. How we get there matters. Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. Now at 5 a.m., the search continues for two suspects involved in a deadly hit-and-run crash in Pasadena. The live view from Irvine this morning. Don't let the morning clouds fool you. Extreme heat is hitting the Southland. We're tracking this fall heat wave that could be dangerous for some people. Right. Oh, and here we go. We're having one, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get under. Yep. Okay, and I'm going to hang on. And drop cover and hold on. What you need to know about today's great California shakeout. Good morning, everybody. We just heard from Tony. He's going to have that in just a bit, but he was asking us what we would do. And we're kind of torn. We're yeah, well, it depends, we're, it depends on where you are. It depends on where you are and what's around you, right. all of and, that. And what you have to get under. Like, this is a pretty solid table here. Yeah. This would be really good. Yeah. But you don't always have that, so yeah. a lot of questions. Right. Quick thinking. You, yeah. You, yeah. So make room for me. Make yeah. room for you. Yeah. Oh. oh, yeah, there's plenty of room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you know, Tony has been teasing that this is the strongest uh, machine simulation that they've ever made. So we'll see how it looks coming up. Dense fog advisories all across Southern California but especially along the coastline. Anywhere from Long Beach out towards LAX, we're dealing with some really thick fog. Uh, some areas are only getting to a tenth of a mile of visibility. I can't really see through some of the cameras around the area. So again, if you are traveling in those spots, be very careful. Give yourself plenty of extra time and a lot of distance between you and the car in front of you. Downtown Los Angeles, 79. Inland Orange County, about 85 degrees. Inland Empire and Valley communities, you're going to get up to about 96 degrees today. Then you head out towards those beaches. It's going to be about 73. The mountains, about 72. And the high deserts will get up to about 92 degrees. We'll have more coming up in a full forecast in a little bit, and we'll talk all about our cooler changes, which are just around the corner. Brianna Ruffel is in. Take a look at traffic. Good morning. Good morning. Traffic's not too, too bad out there. We do have a couple problems, but not many of them are really causing much of a backup. So we'll take a quick look at some of your drive times where it is moving right along. Everything's looking great on that 105 westbound. If you're headed from the 605 to LAX, you're just under about a 15 minute commute now. And then if you're headed on the 91 westbound, some spots we are starting to see pick up, but if you're headed from Riverside to Anaheim, we're still staying close to about a 30 minute commute now. We'll have another check in just a little bit. John, Leslie, Rachel, I'll send it back to you. Okay, Brianna, thank you. Two people are dead after a hit and run crash in Pasadena. This is a live look at the scene near Raymond and Penn Street. The crash happened around nine last night. Police say two people were killed in one vehicle. One or two people in another car ran away from the scene. It's unclear what led to the crash. A prayer service will be held this morning for the four Pepperdine University students killed in a crash Tuesday night. The four women were seniors attending the University Seaver College. The L.A. County Sheriff's Department says a 22-year-old driver lost control and hit the women on PCH. He was released from custody yesterday after being booked on suspicion of vehicular manslaughter. Today's vigil starts at 10 a.m. Well, three people are hurt after a shooting in Bellflower. The L.A. County Sheriff's Department says at least one suspect opened fire near the 91 freeway last night. The shooting appears to have happened outside an auto body shop on Clark Avenue. We don't know the condition of the victims at this time. Deputies also have not released any suspect information. Today, President Biden will deliver a primetime speech on the war between Israel and Hamas. The Oval Office address comes amid new round of airstrikes in Gaza, including parts of the south that Israel had declared safe zones. Yesterday, Israel agreed to allow Egypt to deliver limited humanitarian aid to civilians in Gaza. More than 1,400 people in Israel and nearly 3,500 in Gaza have now been killed, and that includes about 500 people killed in the hospital explosion in Gaza on Tuesday. Tonight at 5 p.m., President Biden plans to address the nation from the Oval Office about the Israel-Hamas war, as I said, as well as Russia's war in Ukraine. ABC News will bring you a special report here on ABC7. You'll also be able to watch with the ABC7 Los Angeles app and on ABC7.com. 
For a third time, Republican Congressman Jim Jordan hopes to win enough votes to be named Speaker of the House. The House is set to vote again today. Jordan was opposed by 22 members of...